We're back on politics tonight. There are serious concerns tonight about the treatment of civilians in Aleppo. The UN called the last few days there a complete meltdown of humanity. The Syrian government's push to flush rebels from the city, costing dozens of civilian lives. And for those who fled the city, many have nowhere to go. Here in Chicago, a local organization is calling for protection of those being targeted. WGN's Sean Lewis has more on that story tonight. Today is a really sad day for the Syrians. The call this afternoon from Chicago for U.S. and other world powers to protect yeah, no. civilians caught up in the war-torn eastern Aleppo area as pro-Assad forces move in. We are calling on Congress, President Obama and President-elect Trump to do something about this. A, an evacuation is needed. We are worried about the safety of 150,000 civilians. The six-year war in Syria now comes down to eastern districts in the city of Aleppo. The rebels who have fought against ISIS and pro-Assad forces made their last stand in this place, as thousands of civilians became trapped in the gunfights and bombings. What is happening in Aleppo today and in the last five months uh, is not a Syrian issue. It is a humanitarian issue. We ask our fellow Chicagoans to respond to call on their elected officials to do something. Today, the United Nations said pro-government troops moving into eastern Aleppo were killing civilians, including women, children, and the elderly in their homes and in the streets as they tried to flee. We know that there has been hundreds of people who have been executed yesterday. We know and we have letters from girls who sent out on the internet saying, I am going to now commit suicide because I know if I don't, I'm going to be raped in the next 10 minutes because the soldiers are outside of my house. Today in Aleppo, there are many Anne Franks, and they are on Facebook, and they are posting their final messages, still filled with hope, asking the world, save us do something before it is too late. That's just tragic. Thank you, Sean.